I was doing prostate and he came in and he said, screaming at me, what are you doing? Stop kissing the floor. It's not easy when your parents are screaming at you. Where's the mic? Okay. Hi, my name's Leila, originally Leticia. Um, I'm from Mexico. My mom and dad are from Mexico. I was uh, raised in California, small town, Santa Barbara. I was been there my whole life. My family are uh, Catholic, like generations, generations of Catholic. But at the age of 13, I left the Catholic Church. I just, I didn't understand it. I would go to the nuns and I would say, I don't want to confess to the uh, priest. And they said, don't be insolent. I would go to the priest and I said, why can't nuns get married? Why, why can't you get married? It's natural. And they said, you're being insolent. So I just had it, I just had it. And I just, my mom would drop me off in the front of the church and I would go to the back and I started going to different dominations. I was a Pentecostal, I was a born again Christian, I was a Jehovah Witness, I was a Christian scientist. Literally, I was just going, looking, at 13 I was looking for something that was missing in my life. At the age of 17, I went to the University of San Francisco and I met an American lady with a scarf. And I said, are you okay? She said, yeah. I said, do you have cancer? She said, no. Why would you say that? And I said, well, your scarf, you know, you're hiding your bald head. She said, no, I'm a Muslim. And when she said Muslim, I went, and she said, why do you say that? And I said, I know about Islam. She said, what do you know? And I said, I see them hitting themselves and the blood going. And she said, no, that's not Islam. She gave me books, she gave me cassettes. And I was shocked. I never realized how beautiful the religion was. So one time I was at the university and I was running late for class. And I was in my bicycle. And this was later, like around 7, 7.30. And it was, it was dark. And I was just running in my bicycle. And I was thinking about Islam. And I was thinking about all the other religions. And I had that, you know, how am I doing the right thing? Am I, because I was ready to convert. So I was going really fast on my bicycle. And all of a sudden, this voice, this loud voice, but I don't remember what it was. It just, I, I heard this loud voice and I stopped. And I looked around and there was no one. It was completely deserted. The cones had, had fallen in this huge pit. And I had stopped at that second. And I knew this was God telling me, if you don't come to Islam, something else is going to be in your life that's not going to be a good thing. I was just like, and I, yeah, I just like stopped. I just stopped and it was, at that moment I knew. So I went back to my American friend, Maryam, and I said, I want to be a Muslim. And then she said, read, read more about it. So I read Surah to Maryam and that was it. I just knew if women had such a high degree in Islam, I wanted to be part of that. I could see that Islam has made me a better person, gave me more patience, uh, I'm more sympathetic, I have more um, empathy for people. If someone asked me to borrow money, I said, I'm giving the money, I'm going to let, and, but I give it as a gift. I don't expect it back, although I'm not telling the person that because it's their responsibility. I never would have thought of doing this 30 years ago. I want my money, where's my money? <laughs> it's gone, it's, it's, all that's gone. It's materialistic things aren't that important anymore. I didn't have any concerns when I became a Muslim because I did my research. I had gone to so many other religions and I saw all the holes and it just wasn't complete. So when I came to Islam, I, I did my research. I did my uh, reading and asking questions and anyone who would answer me was very helpful. The only concern I had was ex my parents accepting me. That was hard. I mean, those are your parents. Those are the ones who raised you and they felt like they did something wrong for me to go in a different path. But once they started seeing that I'm a better person, they grasped it, they, they loved it. They wanted to know about it. That was the most exciting. My mother asked me for the Quran in Spanish. My mom wanted to pray when I, she wanted to sit there and watch me pray. And she told me, it's so peaceful, it's so beautiful. And when I put the call for prayer, she said she had goosebumps. Imagine having a chance from day one to start with no sins on your, on your conscience and you, you come with a clean soul because Allah guarantees that everything is forgiven. This is your chance to start and have a purpose in life.